When you look at pictures on social media of your friends or of people you know, what are your first thoughts? Do you think, wow, he looks hot, or she, look, she definitely used Photoshop to make herself look skinnier? Believe it or not, each of one of these thoughts or comments has a negative impact on the girl or guy that posted that picture. I'll get back to how that is. But first, let me t share my story. <laughs> Growing up, society with all of its stereotyping had taught kids in school that it was okay to be shallow and bully other kids who were not as beautiful or as thin as they were. I was one of those other kids. One of those kids who was left out of friend groups or made uncomfortable at, to eat, even eat at a, part, at a birthday party because I was considered bigger than the average kid. As time went on from elementary school to middle school, looks grew to not only be important, but they were the only thing that middle schoolers cared for. Middle school was about all about being attracted to other people based only on looks and not on personality. For me, middle school was about avoiding eating in front of other people or not going to any parties to avoid being looked at in the way I felt was not a compliment. In eighth grade, I decided to go out to, with a friend to the mall to shop for a party dress. When we got to a store, my friend saw a dress that she thought would look pretty on me, so she decided to grab it for me to try on. Now, she grabbed a size four. I was a size 12, 13. When I told her that, she, her reaction was in shock. She was the first person to compliment me for being smaller than I was. That girl is my best friend today. When I went home that day, I looked in the mirror and I questioned what she saw that looked like a size four. I then began to self-criticize myself every day after that. I would wear only one-piece bathing suits to the beach and wear very loose like clothing everywhere else I went. My freshman year is when I had gone from doing light to moderate exercise to joining my high school rowing team. At the beginning of the year, I would wear loose athletic shorts and big t-shirts to work out in at practice so that none of the other kids would see my body jiggle when I worked out. After a few rigorous workouts, I soon discovered that I was nowhere near in shape as I should have been. I felt a sense of defeat. That defeat resulted in me lying about my completing workouts or stopping midway because I didn't like how fast I was going on the ERG machine. Not only was I struggling in crew after school, but socially I was also behind. This is when social media like Instagram and Snapchat had really taken off. Girls and guys were posting pictures of their relationships and you could only see girls like with the ideal body image getting thousands of positive likes and comments. These girls intimidated me yet all I wanted to be was like them. It took me months to build up the courage to post a picture of myself on Instagram. The first picture I posted was a picture in a ba one-piece bathing suit with my best friend, who I had mentioned earlier. My friend had given me the confidence that this picture was super cute, or hot even. Why didn't anyone like or comment on the picture then? The reaction to the post made me feel like, look, made me look in the mirror again and ask, why me? I, it wasn't until my sophomore year, when I became a member of the varsity crew team, that I decided the defeat had not yet conquered me. I wanted to make a change, and that started with the scale. I got up one morning, and I weighed myself on the scale. I was 170 pounds. Now, for a girl my age and height, that is technically 30 pounds overweight. As I stepped off the scale, the voice of defeat tried to overtake me again but I ignored that voice and began researching how to lose weight and finally get the comments I wanted on social media. That was the beginning of my weight loss journey. I began by exercising more and more each week. I would run for an hour on the weekends when I did not have crew, and each time I'd run faster and faster. Just on the extra exercising alone, I lost 15 pounds. That is when it happened. I got compliment after compliment. I was so happy. What girl wouldn't be? I, I even got a whole new friend group because of it. Now, initially, my goal was to stop at losing the, just those 15 pounds, but all the compliments felt so good that I just wanted to keep seeing the, the number on the scale go down. 
Then a few weeks passed, another 10 pounds lost, but an extra 50 likes on Instagram gained. I was finally at a healthy weight for my age, but that did not stop me. There was a point around of the beginning of my junior year where my weight had plateaued. I again went back to research and the internet gave me the answer of going on a diet. That led me to counting my calories and points from Weight Watchers program. Once I began counting and, and watching exactly what I ate, the number on the scale began to go down again. You know, you can imagine how happy I was to hear all the compliments that I was so skinny and wow, you have changed so much. I mean, I was voted most changed. Those compliments to me meant lose weight and people will finally like you. But I hit a plateau again. What was I doing wrong? I thought to myself, I was eating clean and working out nine times a week, so why was I not lose, still losing weight? I decided it was because I was eating too much food. So I went from eating about 1,600 calories a day to 600 at most. My, of course, my weight went down again, but this time, not only did I lose weight, I lost my menstrual cycle as well. But the com compliments uh, came flooding in, so why, did, why would I stop? That's when some complaints came in instead of compliments. Someone said I was too skinny. This confused me to a point where I was scared to post on, on social media again, but for the opposite reason that I had in the beginning. Remember when I said people say the, comp the comment, she definitely used Photoshop to make herself look skinnier? Well, people started saying that about me. I never used Photoshop, though. That is when all the confusion just wiped away all my emotion. I lost true emotional contact with all my friends, and all, uh, all I did to distract myself was exercise. And well, more exercise. I finally got to such a low emotional point that people started bec to become concerned. Complaints were sent to administration. At the time, I felt scared, and I did not want to change how I was or was actually not eating. But probably the best thing that happened to me was how I got help. I got the help to bring myself back from the terrible thoughts eating away at me emotionally and physically. To this day, I am dealing with an emotional battle. The fear of gaining that weight back on, on after all that hard work I had put in. I lost about 45 to 50 pounds in total from the start. But after going through recovery, the 10 or so pounds I have put back on have made a huge difference in my health. I had brought my body down to 8% body fat, and my resting heart rate was at, a, at an 38 beats per minute. The normal uh, for an average adolescent is between 60 to 100. Nourishing your body from nothing can really test how you think about yourself. I still question my, the process of my recovery every day. Should I have done this? Should I have eaten that cookie, that, that extra cookie, even though it made me happy? I have learned from myself and others that recovery is just a long, twisted road trip to a beautiful, healthy destination. After all the years of having social media, teenagers have been given an image on what a body should look like, leading teenager girls and boys like me to have the struggle of body dysmorphia when they look in the mirror. I am not yet at my healthiest point, but I am trying my hardest to put myself, of my opinion of myself before anyone else. If that means I don't get all those comments on one picture, then that is okay. Is okay. The only comment that I on that picture will need is my own, and that is I am. No, we are all beautiful. Thank you.